Eve, domestic vlog <laughs> number two. Where are we? Hoogereden, World Cup Cyclocross, the penultimate uh, race for the Mathieu van der Poel, and the last one for Tabor, the World Championship. It's uh, organized by his father, Adri van der Poel. Um, and it's World Cup number 250, so it's uh, quite a historical day. Who are your favorites? Uh, U23 Tibor Del Grosso, if you participate. Uh, Mathieu van der Poel, but that's easy. And then, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, Céline Del Carmen Alvarado. Mathieu van der Poel, he comes to cyclocross with a Lamborghini. Uh, he is a bit with a Porsche. But some other riders, they come with a tractor. If we're in, first impression of the course? Dry, fast. Uh, we saw some people come back from the famous coming back. She's quite clean, bike is clean, so it will be a, a very fast race. Man under 23 race is almost over, no surprise here. Tibor Del Grosso is once again on his way to a victory. Yeah. Is he the main favorite for the World Championships and Tabor next week? I think it would be wrong to say he isn't. He showed the last weeks and through the season he's in a very good form. And yeah, I think without bad luck or Something else happening. What about away. what about the circumstances in Tabor? Will it be similar to here in Holy Hay, the dry course? Uh, yeah. Suns out, guns out. It's gonna be dry and fast. Uh, we do when it was announced in Tabor that it would be or icy and snowy or just a dry parkour that's very fast. Uh, we saw that it's not gonna be snowy, so it's gonna be like this, fast, not hard. So once again, Tibor del Grosso time. Yeah, I think so. If women elite second race of the day, maybe the most Tight one with Fem van Empel, with Lucinda Brandt, Puk Petersen. What do you Celine think? Celine Carmen Alvarado. Celine Alvarado, your favorite, of course. The World Cup winner. No, what's your prediction? Um, it's a very fast course, like we already mentioned, and Fem van Empel won yesterday, and she won in Benidorm as well, on a fast course. But it's gonna be tight, and we all know Puck and Fem are quite close to each other. Is the Women Elite World Championships the one you're looking forward to the most? There will, yeah, it will be the race with the most, most tension for sure. Uh, yeah, he's a he's a Matthew van der Poel fan. <laughs> he can't deny it. I can't deny it. No, but yeah, it's gonna be a very entertaining race next week in Talbot for the. We have the front group with Brand van Empel and Per uh, Pietersen. And then Vas. Vas is a Quite an entertaining race uh, for the women. Can you take us through, through it? It was a tight battle between uh, Lucinda Brandt, Fem van Empel, and uh, Cata Blanca Vas, who is definitely the surprise of the day. Yeah. Uh, she ended up sprinting against Van Empel for second place. And yeah, 
as I said, uh, going to the world next Sunday. She's aiming for a podium place, so why not? But Piet is a bit disappointed. Disappointing, but she yeah, you mentioned she's been sick the yeah. past week, so with the eyes on Tabor as well, that's not ideal. So, yeah, after all, I think Van Van Eppel will just uh, take another rainbow jersey. I have to agree. So Yves, the Cyclocross World Cup is done. The 14th round in Hogerheide, uh, another victory for Mathieu van der Poel of course, another victory for Thibaut, Thibaut der Grosso and Fran van Empel. No yeah. surprises today. No. The final test before the World Championships next Sunday. Yeah. What are your expectations? Mathieu van der Poel is going to be world champion um, if everything goes well no trouble and even if he has a mechanical he that's can bounce that's not back. a hot take but how is he going to tackle that race he will just go full gas from right from the gun to make sure he has the race in his own hands and isn't, isn't doesn't have to rely on others um, the women's race will be a lot harder to predict although Puck Peterson being ill this week doesn't have will not have a good influence on her preparation towards Tauber but we saw uh, a Voss who performed very strong today but in a normal circumstance can't really compete with the top Van Van Ampel but she can compete for that uh, third podium spot because I think Brandt is very strong and will maybe stick the longest with Van Ampel and Del Grosso, yeah, it's, that's an easy one In the Man Elite race today, were there any other riders that surprised you? Uh, it's always difficult in the first the week before Tabor, like we, we saw Michael van Turnhout um, being held up in a crash and touched the deck. Um, but we know he's good at championships, so he will be there, he will be ready. Um, Joris Nieuwenhuis was good in Val de Sole on an icy circuit, on a snow circuit. But right now, he uh, today he was good as well. On I've, the got a, I've got a name for top three. Thibonese. Thibonese. Yeah, he was very strong today. He was the only one who could, who could react on Van der Poel on two occasions. But then he crashed out when he was 10 to 15 meters behind Van der Poel. Again, Benny Dorm, he crashed out as well while having a good race. So I hope mentally it's not a real a, a problem for him that he just knows he has the legs and it can't uh, really get in his head. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. All right, with this second vlog, the cyclocross season is done for uh, domestic. What's next? What's next? Uh, Omelop at Nieuwsblad um, is the first race in, uh, in the Flemish Classics. The Cat Classics campaign starts and uh, we will see our viewers then. Bye bye. Bye.